follow and you'll get regular updates. We also have a Facebook group. I'll give you that shortly. And there is the Facebook group. Okay. So stay tuned. We'll have a fun class. George from Brazil. How are you, George? Hi, Simon. I'm very... I'm good. Actually, I, I'm a little sick, but yeah, I'll get better. It's not so yeah, bad. Yeah, you, you got that rough, raspy voice. Yes. Raspy <laughs> voice. Okay, well, I'm glad you made it, George. If When it comes to speaking, if you don't want to speak, it's okay if you want to pass on your turn. No, no, it's okay. I'm a, okay. I can't speak. Perfect. Hassan, how are you, Hassan? Hi, fine, thank you. Good. Good and to you? see you. You're becoming a regular? Uh, sorry? You are becoming a regular. Yeah, <laughs> because you are a good teacher. And nice to listen to your teaching and listen. I will listen well. Okay. Well, I'm glad I have a unique teaching style. It's part of my quest in life not to take anything too seriously. Yeah, the way of teaching in the whiteboard and the method and the discussion and the debate, it is uh, nice and very helpful and useful to us. Well, unfortunately, though, if you attend too many of my classes, you will become addicted. So just be careful. <laughs> You know, I think it is uh, the last day I will came because that time uh, not suitable for me because in the next Monday I w the course will be start. Okay, well I, I I'm glad to have uh, you here. It's, yeah, it's okay. A pleasure having yeah, maybe you. in the weekend I will make with uh, I join with this class. Okay, terrific. Well, I I I put in a request to pick up some Saturday classes, mm -hmm. so who knows? Maybe Saturday classes Very are coming cool. back. Juan Carlos. Hi, Simon. How are you? I'm very good by now. Thank you so much for asking. Good. I'm glad. We're going to have a, a fun class today. Very interesting topic. Very interesting indeed. We'll get to that shortly. Another gentleman from Colombia, Mauricio. Say hi to the people. Uh, hi to the people and good evening, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Mauricio, we are always glad to have you here. And look, even Darth Maul is smiling today. That could be just because he ate somebody, but hey, you know what? It's always good to have Darth Maul here. How's, how's you, Paul? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Good. Glad you made it. And last, but certainly not least, Renee. Hello, Simon. <laughs> I'm Hello. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> you, this is where you get to speak. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Hi, Simon. Hi, everyone. Good to see you guys. Hi, Hene. Long time to see you, Rene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last night, guys, we a bit of news. We actually had a widespread internet outage over I think several million people were affected for three hours and while I was in class last night that's when the internet connection went down but apparently it just affected DNS so because I already had a connection it didn't affect it so it's a good thing it didn't disrupt our class last night and look what I got Oh! Yeah! It's a color. <laughs> oh. No, but these are special pens. Yeah, for whiteboard. The smelly ones? With the special smell? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, let me show Maybe you. Maybe like a smart board? Oh, no. <gasps> no! They're not oh. the good smelly ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, cherry. So, just so you guys don't think I'm a drug addict. See, it says cherry. Cherry. Mm -hmm. cherry. cherry. And not permanent. <laughs> mm, apple. Yes. So, either way, we have new colors to play with Pictionary. 
What color? Like what uh, new color? Class. Oh. It is depend on the color. Yeah, and my it... students. Yes, my students are strange. So simple things such as markers gets them excited. <laughs> yeah! <Woo>! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get you guys doing some learning. We're going to talk about vocabulary. So, what I want to do is I just want to shout out some words and have you guys tell me what they are. Keep in mind, this will be part of tomorrow's Jeopardy class. So, pay attention to the words. Okay, so our first word is abnormality. What does abnormality mean? Not normal. It means that something is wrong. That is not normal. It's not normal, yeah. Not normal, right. It doesn't necessarily... Well, let me give you the dictionary definition. So, an abnormal feature or characteristic is something that is essentially not normal. So you got that one correct. Very good. Here's the next one. Oh, the fancy words today. I love these words. These are awesome words. Disillusioned. What does disillusion mean? Disappointed. No, disappointed. Okay, disappointed. That's close. Anybody? Something wrong? Um, not exactly what I'm going for. Disillusion. Oh, I just hit the wrong screen there. Mauricio, do you have any idea what disillusioned means? Mm, maybe without illusion. Sorry, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you know what? That's not a bad guess. That's probably something I would think myself. Oh, look at the are deprived someone of illusion. Yeah, disappointed in someone or something. Okay? So you discover something to be less than what you had believed or hoped it to be. Disillusion. Maybe that's one I'll put. No, I'm not going to tell you guys which words I'm going to use for the Jeopardy game. That's just not fair. Can you go Perception. What is perception? It's the viewpoint of How understanding. Is, oh, I'm sorry. Concisious oh. understanding for, of something. Are, are you reading a definition? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like vision. like vision. Okay. I want you to look at the top of your screen. It says advanced English. <laughs> that means you have to do the work. So I want you to try and guess. You'll actually learn better if you guess than if you just search. May I? Yes, Mauricio. How uh, people interpret the um, what's around them. What's around them? Okay. Yeah. So perception is how we perceive something. But that could be through our senses, so how we see it, how we hear it. Or my perception, well, I'll give you an example. My perception of people from Mexico is that they're very friendly and happy people based on Rene and Juan Carlos. Okay. Like receiving some information or searching about information? Yeah. It's the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something. Yeah. Our perception, how we see or understand. Okay, here's a really hard word, guys. George, this is going to be yours. Okay. Ink. Ink. It is a special water for writing. George. Thank you, George. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because it's your word. <laughs> George, you did very well. <laughs> Thank you. It's a colored fluid used in writing, drawing, printing. Okay, it is also something used by creatures such as squid to escape. They use an ink. It's also referred to as a dye. All right, George, I have another hard one for you. <laughs> I will mute myself. <laughs> B. B is it the. Um... 
a bug? No. It's a, it's an insect. It's a honey. Yeah, it's insect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. I'm throwing you guys off by giving you easy ones. Okay, well, let's go back to something hard now. Juan, what is personality? Is that a think? characteristic that you have? Thank you, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Personality. I think we're going to have to do introductions again. <laughs> so it says Diego, but he responds to the name of Juan. That's okay. It might be his middle name. So the combination of characteristics or qualities that make up a person's character. Juan has a very warm personality. He likes to joke. He likes to play while he learns. Okay, he has a very warm personality. George has a very harsh personality. He likes to fight. He likes to destroy things and blow things up. It's not true, but it's just an example. Okay, here's another word. Okay. Um, Juan, what does seep mean? The other Juan. I, I never heard of that word. Guess. What do you think it means? Yeah. Sip. Like a sippy cup? It's like a sup? Uh, when you drink something? Not sip, seep. Give you an example. Over years, the oil in the ground seeped into nearby drinking water. Seeped into the nearby drinking water. It's like a lithium or. Yeah. Water. It's a very, Absolutely. very slow leak. Okay? That's slow, not low. A slow leak through material. Okay? And that material must have some sort of small holes. Seep. It's a great word. It just sounds awesome. Now, if at any point you guys would like to practice these words, that's fine. We'll do that after we've read the article, though because we do have lots of them. Okay, so let's see here. Next word. No, I'm going to save that one for the article. That's a tough one. All right, next word. Aren't these great words, guys? Yes. Yeah. All right, Danielle, I've got a hard one for you. Mm. Bolt. Bolt is a um, spin. It's a what? Spin. A thing? Like a spin. Oh, spin. See. Yeah, no. So a bolt would be something like this. To okay. connect two parts to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one bolt. Or here's another example of bolt. <laughs> I bolted to rapidly leave. Yeah, rapidly. Escape. To bolt. So here's me seeping away slowly. <laughs> and here's me bolting away. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go downstairs. This, this looks like Sesame Street. <laughs> like now here's my, my canoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, come on, guys. Be serious. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wobbly. After too much tequila, I felt wobbly. Darth Maul, what does wobbly mean? 
Oh, uh, let me think. What? <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're like <laughs> exhausted, shocked, tired, and you have no no strength at all. Um, not necessarily no strength, Renee. <laughs> yes, I like. Oh, I, I mean, I have a question. It's the same like wobbly, wobbly. Yeah, very much. If I am wobbly, I yeah. have. A tendency to move unsteadily from side to side, like I've been drinking too much. <laughs> wobbly. I'm wobbly. Okay. Um, Diego, revival. What does revival mean? Mm, revival? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it could be... Mm, I don't know, actually. Ah, uh, you've got to guess. Revival. Revival. And maybe. Mm. Let me give you a sentence. After playing Halo Four for two days straight, I was exhausted. However, after a good night's sleep, I was revived. So and anything. Yes, you you are so tired and you have a new energy. Yeah. Yeah. So an improvement in the condition or strength of something. So a revival. Think you feel better. You feel renewed. Yeah. It's like a get over. Yeah. Like vive is life, right? Vive, en français or in French is to live. Renewed life. Uh, good and Laura, good on the um, the, the last stuff. So I see Luna, Laura, and a few others in the uh, chat area. So very good, guys. I will include you as much as I can. Um, but I want to think in terms of more prominent. The word prominent. That's another great word. I love it. What does the word prominent mean, Hassan? Obvious. Obvious. Interesting. Anybody else have a different? Important. Important. Yeah. Important. Yes. Good. So important. Well known. Well known. Well known. Yeah. Well known is a good way of looking at it. Um, yeah. Well known. Important. Famous. Pretty well. All of those are good. Good definitions. Hello, Jose. Good to see you. All right. Spontaneous. George, what is spontaneous? When you do not have any preparedy and you just... Uh, yeah, when you just say or do things without uh, having planned anything. Yeah, so like my classes, George. Mm hmm Spontaneous, <laughs> without planning. No, that's not true. You can tell what I haven't planned because I don't know what to say. So, there's a good definition. Performed as a result of a sudden impulse or desire. Hey, Juan, let's go to Texas to watch the Dallas Cowboys game tomorrow. Hell yeah, let's go. Cool. There you go. Let's, let's bring Renee, too. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So, inspiration. What does inspiration mean? Um, let's see. Juan, what is inspiration? This one, uh, an idea come to your mind like an epiphany. Like an epiphany. Yes, but if you're inspired, something triggers that inspiration. So I might look at this pen and realize, huh, it stinks. What if I made it smell like cherries? Mmm, cherries. 
Very good. Next word, refined. What does refined mean? Um, Darth Maul, what is refined? It's like to improve something. Maybe like uh, oil refinery. Yeah, it's definitely to improve, to remove impurities, to perfect. So if something's refined, it is better than what yeah. it was. Uh, inspiration comes from all sorts of people, but inspiration, Luna, doesn't just come from people. It can come from objects. We might be inspired by the moon. I love the moon. Just something about the moon, right, George? Yeah, it's right. So do I. The source of inspiration can be anything. It could be from getting hit in the head with an apple or seeing an apple fall, and then we know what gravity is. Sure, an iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, we could be inspired by an iPhone, as Samsung was. <laughs> they were inspired so much they copied it. <laughs> George, you are... No, Daniela, you are so bubbly tonight. Bubbly. Bubbly is not sparkling. But No. Okay. What does bubbly mean? I think it's sparkling. Nope. Well, give you a hint. It might have bubbles in it. Yeah, cheerful, happy. Well, there's many definitions. So we have two. We have cheerful, happy, kind of like Renee is a lot. Renee always laughs a lot, and Renee's very bubbly. Okay. Also... Champagne? It might mean there's a lot of air or bubbles in something. Mm -hmm. the, the soft drink was way too bubbly for my liking. Okay, So very literally, full of bubbles, as Laura says, or bubbly as in full of happiness, as La Luna, Luna Muna. Okay. Or maybe, maybe like champagne? Champagne or sparkling wine? Sparkling wine and champagne are... Bubbly? I wouldn't say are the same, but a champagne is a sparkling wine. A sparkling wine is not champagne. Champagne. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what is the difference between a sparkling wine and champagne? Champagne is made in Champagne, in France. In the Champagne region, yes. Very good. And okay. sparkling wine can be produced produced in other places. Anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, are you ready to do some reading? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you guys don't sound excited enough. Are you ready to do some reading? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys sound like you're twisted or something. Let's just get to the reading before somebody gets scared. Okay, here we go. And I, I apologize for those of you that are in the lobby, but please listen along. What I challenge those of you that are in the lobby, such as Andre, Luna, Jose, and others, is when you hear the words we talked about, type them out. All right? Okay. So, let's see. Daniela, I think you're first in class. Yes. So, Daniela, would you be able to read the first paragraph for us? Mm -hmm. When most people read the book, newspaper, or magazine, they see the words as black marks on the page. This is not surprising given that ink in most publications in black is black. However, there is a group of people who do not see the words in front of them as black. Instead, they might say that the number four is blue or the word gift is green. Can Others, I stop you? Okay. I, I'm, I'm stopping you for a reason because some of you might be thinking, oh, uh, no, wait, I didn't read that. Did Daniela just say... 
that the number four is blue or the word gift is green? Yeah, that's literal. That's exactly right. Daniela, please continue reading. Others might say that the pain from a, a headache is orange, the flavor of sugar round, round, or a sniff of a bouquet of roses pink. What's going on here? Yeah, very interesting. Imagine thinking the pain is orange. Okay, this is very interesting. So here we are, we have, oh my goodness, paragraph two is way too long. So, let me just take it. it. Oh, that's, uh, stop being silly here. Here we go. All right. Diego, could you please read the highlighted text, please? Yes. According to the to neuroscientists, those people have condition called synesthesia. The word synesthesia comes from Greek words sin meaning together and anesthesis meaning perception and means joined perception. All humans have a fifth sense, touch, vision, hearing, taste and smell and typically they are clearly separated from one other, one another. Okay. Thank you. Um, now Diego, what I recommend um, is reading a little slower. Your pronunciation is pretty good, but as you learn to improve it, if you go slower, you'll do better with some of the words. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, let me just go over a few. Now, first of all, synesthesia, you said that one very well. Even yeah. I trip over that every now and then. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. I'm not saying this is going to be on a test or anything, but it's a word you guys might want to familiarize yourselves with. It is Latin word, scientific Latin word. Well, it is a scientific word, yeah. And according to neuroscientists, yes. these, this is the condition that we're reading about, which is a fascinating one, especially if you don't have the disease. If you do, it's a little bizarre. Yes. George, could you please read the rest of this paragraph? Okay. However, for a person with synesthesia, the boundaries between the senses are weak. So one sense, for example, sound may seep across to another sense, such as sight, so that the sound of an orchestra playing might be seen as green, wobbly lines. This combination um, auditory stimulation accompanied by a accompanied by a visual sensation is the most common type of synesthesia 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 yes Syn any yes. any sim sim Simultaneous. Let me just let me just type this out here. Synesthesia. Try that, George. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Very good. And when you get a chance, you can put it in dictionary.com and look up and see the proper international phonetics. But this is just to help you for now. So very good. Uh, let's see. So. Any simultaneous combination of two or more senses is considered a form of synesthesia. Okay, synesthesia. Okay, paragraph number three. Who would like to read that? Ah, Me? Hassan would like yeah. to read that. Yeah. Go ahead, please. A neurologist uh, Richard Cytonic become interested in this phenomena. Became? Uh, became interested in this uh, in this phenomena after he found out his neighbor tested sharps shapes uh, shapes a uh, sign cytoic was convenient convinced he should 
take a deeper look when when less than two weeks late, later he he encountered a, a colleague who saw the sound of his hospital bigger uh, okay. as bigger as red light lightning bullet bullet bolt bolt sign side toic and other scientists believe that that scientism is not as abnormality in the fact we all may experience synesthesia as a birth it is not it is only when our brain believe, uh, develops that he that the abnormalities between each of our sins become more refined people with synesthesia on on the other hand re retain these in distinct boundaries throughout their lives. Thank you. And Thank again, you, for those of you that have thunder in the background, please mute yourself if you're going to type. It really does sound like thunder. Yeah. Uh, teacher? Yes. Uh, can say synesthesia or synesthesia? Well, if you get it close enough, there's different regional dialects or differences in how it might be pronounced. It's like, like roof or roof. Yes. Um, I say it as syn uh, synesthesia. Like anesthesia or anesthesia? Anesthesia or synesthesia. So, mm -hmm. syn yeah, synesthesis. See, I have trouble with those words every now and then, even myself. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. So, like I said, go to dictionary. Dot com. Not now, but later on. Type the word yeah. in, and you can click the little speaker, and it'll say it back to you. All right. So I heard a few words. I heard phenomenon. Phenomenon. Not yeah. phenomena. So just don't forget the N at the end. Phenomenon. Yeah. Other words here. Pager, P A G E R, pager. Pager. What the meaning? Well, meaning of pager? It no, a pager is a precursor to a cell phone. It came first. It's when you have a little something that's on an electronic device, and when somebody calls you, it sends like a message or a phone number, yeah. and then you call. So, very very basic communication device. You can't talk on it. Okay, other word that I heard was refined. Refined. I'm trying to find it here. But very well done. It's in black. Below. That's why I can't find it. It's too obvious. Yeah, refined. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Paragraph 4. Is this really interesting, guys? Do you find this Bizarre, strange. Yeah, it's interesting. interesting. Yeah, it's I something. Saw a show it's something for a Friday night, but here we are on Thursday. It's like a bonus. One. <laughs> yes. What the, um? What is boundaries? Boundaries. 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 Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> So, there is a boundary between Mexico and the United States. There is also a boundary between Brazil and Colombia. Uh, like border. It's like a border. It's a boundary, yeah. So, boundary. If, you ever, if you ever drive up to North Brazil, you'll see there's this, like, painted red line. Okay. No, I'm kidding. There's no painted line. Bound that's only a map. Boundary. Yeah. Okay. So that's one example of boundary. All right. It's basically a, a limit, a mark or a line that limits an area. So, for example, you could be in a company and your security pass has a certain ba Oh, I've screen share. Let me turn that off. So my security tag 
has certain boundaries. I can't get into certain areas with this security tag because it's out of bounds. Okay. Juan. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Of course, I'm born ready. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Juan, could you please read paragraph four? Another finding is that the relationships between the different sensory perceptions are consistent over time. Someone who hears the buzz of a bee as purple will always see it as a purple. The sensations are also unique to individuals. One person may see the word table as yellow and another see it as green. Wow. All right. The fifth paragraph, Mauricio, would you like to read number five, please? No, sir. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Of course, of <laughs> course. <laughs> Although anyone can create links between the senses and other ideas of ob objects through, through the use of metaphor, for example, heated debate, bubbly personality, or loud shirt, this is not the same as synesthesia. Syne Sunnysteads experience these rela relationships spontane spontaneously without any conscious thought. One young synesthet blogger reports how the silly the solution the solution she felt when she when she saw a famous singer for the first time and he didn't match up to the color she had seen for him when she first heard him sing. Another reports how the sound of paper makes him feel physically sick, so he hates going to restaurants with paper tablecloths and napkins. Wow, that would make me feel very disillusioned. disillusioned. Wow, Thank you. very strange. Thank you. All right, let me just see how much we have left. We've got six that goes into... Okay, good. Excellent. So, Darth Maul, could you read number six, please? Sure. Thus, while some negative reactions may result from synesthesia, Professor Simon Baron Cohen believes it's more useful to think of it as enriched perception because synesthet... Uh, synesthet... That's... Synesthet... Synesthets often use their conditions as a means to en enhance memory or as a source of inspiration. The prominent Russian artist Vasily Kandinsky's uh, synesthesia may have triggered the creation of his famous. Yeah, but I can see it. Oh, it should come shortly. Well, let me finish for his famous portrayals of musical compositions as abstract paintings. Those of you that took my introduction memory course might remember this, but what did I talk about the best way to create memories? Yes, Renee. No, I, I don't understand the question. Can you can you kind what of is explain? A, it? What is a great way to create memories that I talked about in my memory class? Oh yeah. One was I I don't remember the names, but one was repeating, but you have to have to repeat. Wrote on and on and on. Boring. And the other one is phonetic. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember the name. Phonetic. Phonetic mnemonics. So where it's based on a strange or weird link. Give me a number from one to twenty, Renee. Ah, come on. <laughs> Seven. A dinosaur. Ah, God. <laughs> so, this is the effect. If you create... That's a strange sound. Annoying. I don't know where it's coming from. Better. So, if you create a strange link or something, it helps reinforce memory. For these people, they're having strange links all the time. So, they're talking about how it reinforces memory. And, Renee, I haven't thought about those words anymore since then. Danielle, give me a number from 1 to 20. 15. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you want me to tell you what 15 meant? 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just uh, all right. Uh, artillery. Okay, thanks. You you have no idea if it's correct no. or not, do you? Yeah. No. Okay, funny, funny. I remember this. Okay. Uh, all right. So, Renee, it's your turn. Read seven, please. Uh, okay. Medical science has known about synesthesia for several centuries, but this revival of interest has increased our understanding. We know we now know that it is more frequent among women, women and left-handers, and that it appears to run in families. However, estimate estimates of estimates. the number of people with synesthesia still vary widely, from one to two hundred to one in two thousand. This may be because many people who have the condition may not re realize that it has a name. Oh, I'm pretty sure that after you start seeing seeing colors and smelling numbers, you start to figure out you're not normal. So, very good. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, 20 is pen, and it, for, it was first, you know, we talked about three different prices, right? So. How much? 100. The second? 43. Uh, the last one? 50, but let's, let's get back to the lesson here. Okay. <laughs> So, this is not a memory class, but I just want to show you guys that it does work. For a guy who has a pretty bad memory. Okay, so I'm really curious. I've never heard of synesthesia, and I would like each of you to write out a brief description what synesthesia is and type it in the chat window. What is synesthesia? Anyone? Yeah, everyone. Everyone. Not anyone. Everyone. Okay, everyone. <laughs> uh, synesthesia is the ability to watch the colors and the sounds or when you are reading. Thank you. I was actually referring to anyone to write it out. <laughs> 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 okay. I, I notice that not everybody is listening tonight. I've got two Georges in the class. I've got two Wands in the class. It is when a person does not have the boundaries to separate the senses. Very good, Juan. Yeah. Oh, thunder. Feel that thunder. What is Canada? Yeah. And what is Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> what is the border? What is a bound boundary. 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 boundary? boundary, yes. What is a boundary? Synesthesia means joined perception. We have five senses and they are separated. But someone who has synesthesia combines the senses. Very good, Daniela. Paul, it's an effect when you associate some colors with some things or figures or letters. True as well. Hassan, it's a type of abnormality that a person can't recognize between the five senses or confuses them. Okay. Confuses. Yeah. More correct. Mauricio, synesthesia is the process that some people have to use different ways of perceiving other things different as usual. For, different for, yeah. Five. Good, George. Yes, I don't know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> oh, I see, for your comment above. Oh, yes, okay. It is when your five senses, touch, vision, hearing, taste, and smell, are affected. Very good, guys. All right, let's see. We'll wrap up a few more. How do people with this condition benefit from it? Mauricio. 
<clears throat> yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, maybe to to create to have a creative uh, way to to see the life and perhaps. Mm. So, for example, if I thought the number five, I might think girl, right, George? Juan said yes. yes. It's how they improve their memory. Okay, it can certainly help improve their memory. The passage relates how metaphors often combine the essence of different senses. Feeling blue, depressed. Warm colors like red, orange, and yellow. With fire. Can you think of other metaphors that mix senses? For example, when we say feeling blue, we don't literally mean that we feel blue. It's an expression. I am touched. You're not literally touched, but you're emotionally affected. Sorry? Like this, he is green because he's angry or jealous. You're breaking up a little bit. Oh, I, green, I am green with envy. Yes. Very good. Yeah. I am green with envy. And like, uh, have a green heart. Ah, very good, yes. <laughs> uh, like person have a fun or like tourism? I you don't mentioned. know. I, you kind of broke up. There. You might want to turn your camera off and I'll be able to hear you better. At the top right of the page, if you turn off your camera. Many or most babies have some degree of synesthesia. But later, the boundaries between senses develop. What advantage do you think there is for senses that are clearly separated? I think the test and the vision. Sorry, what and vision? The test and the vision. Te I'm. T test. Touch. Oh, taste. Taste. Yeah. Yeah. Taste. yeah, yeah. And the smell with the taste and uh, joint with us. I personally kind of like them all being separated. Be kind of strange not having them separated, wouldn't it? See, we all. I taste food. I see colors. I don't hear colors. I don't see lines when I hear music. I don't f see orange when I feel a headache. Yeah, there's no confusion. Mm. May I say something, Simon? Yes, please. Uh, well, I've heard that that situation maybe well many years ago, uh, but that people. Uh, um, used to use LSD or maybe some drugs uh, that alterate their conscious. Yes, their conscious. that's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I think that 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 is a part of the evolution. Maybe maybe it's, it's that those people has a part of the brain more developed developed than other than the normal people. I don't it know. Could, I'm not sure. It, it could be. What time is it, uh, Mauricio? It's time of Pictionary PM. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, <I'm> man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time of Hangman PM. Are you guys ready? Yeah, okay. we are. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, okay. Uh, I need somebody to explain the rules. Hassan, do you know the rules? Yeah, it is uh, to uh, to suspect some word in the sentences. If we guess another uh, a wrong word, 
we may be hang out uh, you need to ask the letter in the formal question Very just good. remember it So I have two words in this phrase. Go ahead and ask me for a letter. You must ask in the form of a question. And go ahead and pick one that is actually there. I'm going to start off with Daniela. No. I'm going to start off with Diego. Diego, could you go first, please? Um, I have to give you an award. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Diego. Uh, I have to give you one word. Um, uh, Diego, you, you, if you don't turn off your camera, I'm not going to be able to hear you. Your sound is breaking up. You don't have enough bandwidth. Uh, George. Can I have the letter Y? Letter I. And your connections that we're having trouble with too, George. We have a letter I. Is that good, George? Yes. Good. All right. Uh, Hassan. Uh, can I have letter E? Can I have the letter E? Is that good, George? No. One? Is that George good? No, uh, so, it's yeah. perfect. Uh, then I, yeah. uh, okay, the well, connection I... may be disconnected. <laughs> Juan, it's your turn. Can I have the letter S, please? The letter S. Excellent. And uh, Mauricio. Yeah, uh, Simon, can I have the letter mm, T, please? Excellent. All right, Darth Maul. Mm, can I have the letter P? Letter P. Very good. Excellent. We just and Renee, I'll get you in a minute. Daniela. Personality. <laughs> Daniela. Uh, can I have the letter A, please? Oh, you guys didn't take it for her. No, it's Daniela's letter. It's untouchable. Is that good? Me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not far sure, but no. <laughs> so far, oh. it's perfect. Okay. Okay. It's enough. Okay, I won't add another that. All right, um, Diego. <laughs> I have a O. Can I have the letter O? Yeah. Excellent. We have an O. I love the word. Hassan, are you okay? Bubble personality. Sorry. Bubble. Bubbly personality, personality. That's correct. Now, I don't know what's happening right now, but everybody's connection seems to be breaking up. I don't know what's going on. Actually, you guys, there, I can hear everyone know? very well. You, you can hear everyone? Everyone yeah. very well. Even when you say that everyone is breaking up, I can hear them very well. Okay, it might just be my connection. Like I said, my provider was having trouble yesterday. Maybe. Oh, no. Some word may be missed, uh, may be missed, and discontinue when you speak. Yeah, it'll probably correct itself shortly. Okay, guys, we're coming close to the end of class, so let me wrap up a little bit. Um, I do want to say say thanks for everybody for showing up tonight. As I said at the beginning, if you want to find out more about the classes that I teach, um, let me give you a link here. You can see all the classes that I'm going to teach, as well as those that I have taught and you can watch them again. You can also click on follow me if you want to stay in touch of new courses that are coming up. We also have a Facebook site. You can add me on there, you can also I'll add me on you. Google Plus. Yeah, you can follow me, yeah. And there we go. Um, tonight, in one hour, I have a very, very exciting class for some of you. Others, you would probably rather eat rocks. I'll let you decide. It's on basic project management. I will talk about how to keep your project on scope, on schedule, 
and on budget and I will give you a tool that will help you effectively manage a project and I will also talk about what it is sorry what a project is so that's coming up in one hour tomorrow is where we have fun we start off by reading some interesting articles some are true some are false you must guess which ones are true we will play games and then in the second class we are going to play Jeopardy lots of fun words from this yeah. week yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah awesome so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna tomorrow. win I'm gonna win this time yes and For if sure. Daniela wins <laughs> uh, Renee and George are gonna fly everybody Anyone? to Beijing for four weeks. Great. <laughs> yeah. And they're going to rent a bunch of MiG-29s and fly everybody in MiG-29s. Yeah. Courtesy of the Russian Air Force. Great. All right, guys. I like Any... this prize. Yeah, I see everybody's <laughs> rushing to get to the next class. Yeah. So... Uh, thanks again for showing up, guys. Uh, like I said, I have one more class in one hour. And, yeah, so, Renee, you apparently lost his connection. I don't know. May hopefully, next class, we won't have any connection issues. So, thanks very much for showing up, guys. Any last questions? No. Thank you so much. Thank well. you very much, Simon. See you, see you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. T-shirt. Uh, teacher, I will yes. ask you. I saw uh, some uh, material which taught us, you and other teacher in Colingo, see if you have the same syllabus. I'm sorry, it's your your. I can barely hear you. Can you turn off your video camera again? Yes, just a minute. I saw some material we taught us, which is same f uh, from other uh, teacher which yeah. taught us. Do it have a same syllabus? A syllabus? Or, yeah. Or same shared material for all the teacher in the calling to to teach uh, to taught us? Yeah, I I don't know. I, honestly, like the connection is really bad. I know you're saying something about syllabus and other teachers, but what I might suggest is send me a message on Facebook because uh, I'm really having trouble hearing right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get going because uh, I don't know what's happening with connections, but hopefully this is fixed for my next class. <laughs>